Hello, coming to you from the worship center at Bonner First Baptist Church. And I uh, wanted to send a message out to our members and to the, uh, those of you who come, uh, our regular attenders for this week. Just a few things I wanted to mention. Uh, first of all, as always, we are encouraged and thankful for uh, the gifts that you give and for your following online. I hope that you'll be sharing with others as you watch the Facebook and YouTube sermons and panels and the other things that we're doing at the church as well. There's so many things that are available virtual right now. Also, I'd like to mention that at the end of this coming month in February, uh, we're planning to go live streaming. And that's important for a couple of reasons. One thing is one of the things I've told you ever since we've been doing this virtual, I know that many of you I don't feel comfortable being here yet. You, the risk is great, perhaps for age or for existing medical conditions and that kind of thing. And certainly we understand that and we're praying for you. But it's very important, I think, if you're going to, to worship, that you do it at a designated time and that that time be in, in the nearness of when the church is worshiping. And so uh, live streaming is going to really help that, and we hope that you'll be able to, to do that. We're still going to do some things with the message as far as recording and all of that, but we're going to be mainly doing the, the, the live streaming. Another thing I'd like to encourage you about is this. I know that, again, many of you still feel that the, the risk is great in, in going out in public, but as you move out into the public more, and, and for some, the risk is going to be going down. You're going to be taking vaccines, and they're going to be more and more available, I think. For those of who, who want to take them, many won't. That's fine. But remember this. It's really important, and, and those who come know this especially well, that when you're here, there's, there's nothing like being in the community of saints as you worship. We did the panel uh, tonight, and I'm recording this after the panel, and we talked about can you, can you worship virtually? Can virtual worship take the place of real worship? And the answer is no. Think about this. What if the Last Supper had been done virtually? How do you think that would have changed it? It wouldn't have been the same at all, would it? So while we believe that the virtual ministry is, is a good thing and we're trying to get better and better at it, and we're not going to discontinue it, we're going to continue it even, even when this pandemic is over because we have found a way to reach people and, and uh, for you to share that with other people outside the church and perhaps even in different places. So we want to continue to do that. But I also want to encourage you. I'm not, I'm not going to ask anybody to, to take any risks that will make you uncomfortable. But I want to encourage you that as soon as you can uh, to come back to, to public worship, to in-person worship, because it's very important. I think that if you've not been experiencing that, you really won't know what you've been missing until you come back. And besides all of that, you know, I've been your pastor for a long time, and you know I would never do anything to manipulate you or to guilt you in any way. But we truly miss you, and, and, and you're a part of this fellowship, a part of this community, and we hope to have uh, meaningful worship with you in the near future. But until we can, I hope that you will take advantage of the, of the virtual worship, especially the live streaming when it comes on at the end of the month, to, to be watching and singing at the same time the church does. And again, we'll be praying for you and hoping God's blessings upon you. And thank you so much for all that you've been doing for, your, for the church while you have not been able to come. Uh, it has just been a blessing, and God has done so many wonderful things, and we are so thankful for you and for what you do.